Hi, this is Miss Shaw, and today I'm going to show you how to show emotions or feelings in your writing. Our lesson and objective today is to learn how to show emotions in your writing, rather than simply telling what the emotions are. So how do you show emotions in your writing? Have you ever heard your teacher say, show, don't tell? If so, you've probably also wondered what that means. Emotions are an easy subject to show in your writing, and it helps your audience create a mind movie easier. Also, it allows your audience the opportunity to infer how you are feeling, which is more challenging for your reader. Showing emotions is a fun and simple way to show, don't tell. The materials you will need today for what we're going to learn about are a piece of your writing, a pencil, your writing notebook or journal, a list of emotions that you will brainstorm with your class, a list of sights and sounds that show emotions, which you will also brainstorm with your class, and two to three partners that will help you with your brainstorming. So the very first thing you're going to do is to brainstorm a list of emotions as a class. The first part of that will be to write down a list of emotions or feelings in your notebook, being sure to leave a few lines after each emotion so you have space to write what it looks like, sounds like, and feels like. For example, here you can see we have the emotion of being angry. We also have the emotion of being afraid, and you can see that I've left some space in between each one of those. And we also have the emotions of surprise and happy. It depends on how many emotions your teacher will want to do with you, but this is a good start for us. Your second step is to write down what each emotion looks like. So the first part of this will be to look at a picture of someone showing one of your emotions and write down what that person is doing. For example, what emotion are these two people showing? Write down the actions or clues in your notebook that show you what emotion they are experiencing. Now would be a great time for your teacher to pause the screencast so that you can talk about what the actions are and what the emotion is that these actions are showing. Now that you've had some time to talk with your class about what the actions were that showed the emotion, I'm guessing that you thought this emotion was anger because that's the emotion I see in both of these pictures. And you can see in this very first one one of the things that he's doing is his face is turning red. He's so angry that his face is turning as red as a beet. He's also got those um, fists both clenched. So those are two ways that he's showing that he's angry. And here, of course, she's showing it in a little different way where she has her mouth wide open and she looks like she's about to pull out her hair because she's got both hands on top of her head. So if those are the same clues that you got, way to go. Now let's go on to the next part. Your next step is to play charades. This is the best part of this whole activity. First thing you're going to do is with a group of two or three people, act out what the same emotion looks like. Okay, so you've got anger. What are the things that the different people in your group would do to show that they are angry? The next part of this is to perform in front of your class or with your family. The next thing would be to take turns as a class, acting out your emotion with your small groups. And finally, add the different actions that you notice or hear that show this emotion in your notebook. If you don't have them written down already, based on the pictures you looked at anyway. So if you already have, um, you turn red written down, obviously you wouldn't need to write that down again. Step four, do this for as many emotions as possible. Repeat steps one through three for a variety of emotions, and I know you came up with a lot when you brainstormed with your class earlier. Another fun way to do this is to have your teacher assign two emotions per group so that each group is acting out emotions that are different from everyone else's. Finally, the class guesses what emotion is being acted out. And then you will add the actions to the emotions chart in your writing notebook that you've already created. All right, let's go ahead and practice step five. Which one of these story parts shows emotions and which one tells what the emotions are? 
Option one. At that very moment, a huge gust of wind came out of nowhere and blew right through our tent. Biting my lip hard, I rubbed my arms and could feel the goosebumps that had emerged. Here's option two. At that very moment, a huge gust of wind came out of nowhere and blew right through our tent. I have to admit that I was getting nervous. Now, which one paints a better picture in your mind and why? Take a moment with your teacher to stop and discuss this, and then we'll come back and see what you came up with. All right, I have a feeling that your group came up with option one. I just love that option because you can actually picture the person getting nervous, where it says, biting my lip hard, I rubbed my arms and could feel the goosebumps that had emerged. That just makes me think of other times where I've been nervous or scared, so I can totally picture that in my mind. Is that what you came up with too? Step six, now apply the skill to your writing. Choose two to three parts of your writing where you've told about an emotion. Then revise your writing so that you are showing each emotion rather than telling what it is. And finally, it's always good to give at least two to three actions or clues to show which emotion you're describing so your audience can infer or guess the emotion correctly. This is just the beginning for you. Now that you know how to show emotions in your writing, you're well on your way to learning how to show other actions in your writing too. Your audience will enjoy your writing so much more when you paint a vivid picture of the events in their minds. Plus, it's so much more fun to write when you're showing rather than telling. Enjoy using your new awesome skill.